guys, I'll be talking about the Seven Wonders, written by um, Peter Larangis. And the quote I'll be introducing to you today is the tinker, the tailor, the soldier, and the sailor. This quote tells us the four four main characters of uh, abilities in Seven Wonders. I find this quote interesting because at one point, one of the characters doesn't really understand why he is called one of these words. And I have yet to find that out since it's the series has just started and as you can see, it's just it's the third book of the series. The theme of this book is basically talents. This is because the characters who the characters powers were uh, able to solve and complete their quest through their talents. Like one character who manages to hack into a really hard security codes and passwords to take back um, the their their goal for the for the book which is the Loculis. And um, another character can pinpoint their location just by looking at the area or the area they're the area they're standing on. While another character can solve mysteries just by connecting a solid idea by a whole different idea that doesn't even relate to the problem they're solving. Amazing, right? These talents may be simple, but when you read the book, it's way advanced than you think. So the setting of this book is around our time. So so it's gonna, there's going to be modern buildings, restaurants, and all that. Uh, yeah. So it's really based on our time and all that. And the characters, the four characters, four main characters, are named Jack McKinley. Ali Black, Cass Williams, and Marco Ramsey. Uh, they, the reason why these characters are so special is because they possess this gene, this G7W gene, with um, that gives them each uh, a new unique ability, which is the talents and all that. Um, so the plot of this book is quite complicated. Like I said, this is the third book. So I'll just uh, mainly talk about what I've known by now. So um, the four main characters, there are they are about to die at the age of 14. So they're like the same age as us, so if not given the, pop, the proper treatment. So they were founded by this organization that, um, that can give them the proper treatment to survive. And in return, they have to find these seven loculis. They are like these orbs that give them mystical power. So so far in these three books, the loc the loculis that they've had so far is the loculi of flight, which gives them the power to fly. The loculi of invisibility makes them invisible. And in this third book, it's the loculi of healing. It can heal them. If you're asking why. If you're asking to why they should use this locally rather than getting all of them, I have a feeling that it won't work that way. Maybe the gene is too powerful to, uh, for the healing to work. So yeah, this is basically the plot. And uh, for the conclusion, uh, I love this book because it has a lot of humor, mysteries, and um, uh, really a uh, good plot twist that gives excitement to the book. That's what I love about this book. So those of you who like Percy Jackson or maybe The 39 Clues or Harry Potter or other fictional books, you'll, uh, you'll love this book. I know it. And so if you're looking for a new fictional story that has whose story that just begun, Start reading Seven Wonders. Thank you.